Let's use read, draw, write to help answer the question in this problem. Imani has 70 cents. She finds 24 cents. How much money does Imani have? Imani throws some of the money into the fountain. Now she has 61 cents. Well, this is a big problem. So Imani has 70 cents. She finds 24 cents. Okay, how much money does Imani have? Okay, so we have to figure out this first. She has 70 cents and then she finds 24 cents. Okay, so we need to figure out this part first. Okay. That's the first part of the story. Okay, then Imani throws some of the money into a fountain. Okay, how, now she has 61 cents. Okay. How much money did Imani throw into the fountain? Okay, so I'm gonna label this drawing here. So Imani had 70 cents in the beginning. 70 cents and she finds 24. Okay. So I need to find out how much money Imani now has. All right, I don't know that yet. Okay, then whatever this money she has, she throws some of the money in the fountain. Okay, so we don't know how many she throws. She throws something away. Or not away, but in the fountain. So I know I'm gonna separate. So I'm gonna just make a little note here. And then now she has 61 cents. So that's the ending to my story. So this is the end. All right, she has 70 cents, then Imani finds 24 cents. Okay, so we have to figure out how that much is. Then she tosses some into the fountain, and now she has 61 cents. Okay, I made sense of the problem. I think I'm ready to start solving it. So, we know there's a lot of parts to this problem, but I'm gonna start at the beginning. Story usually start at the beginning, right? How much did Imani have at the beginning? Look, Imani has, yeah, 70 cents. So I am going to draw. It's not perfect, but that's okay. 70, because Imani has 70 cents. And what happened next in the story? Yeah, she finds 24 cents. So that's my other part. So I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because 24 is less than 70. Okay, so I have my two parts. Now, how much does Imani have? 70, oh, I can do by 10, 70. 80, 90, and then add my ones, four. Okay, so I know 70 and 24 is 94. All right, am I done? I'm done, right? No? Oh yeah, there's a whole other part to the story. We only answered the first part. Okay, so let's write that down here. Okay, my first part, I redid the beginning. What happened at the beginning? Yep, Imani had 70 cents. And then she found 24 cents. And now she has 94 cents. Okay, so she now has 94 cents. And then she throws them in the fountain. All right. Wait, I don't know. 
Um, oh no. Okay, I'm gonna draw another tape diagram so I can figure this out. Ready to solve the second part of the problem. So how much does Imani have now? She has 94 cents. 70 plus 24 equals 94. So she has 94 cents. And what happens now? Yeah, Imani throws some of the money in fountain. We don't know how much, but we do know that she's left with 61 cents. Okay, so that means we know at least one part of the 94. All right, we don't know how much Imani threw away. We just know that she started with 94 cents. And then after she threw, some coins into the fountain. She has 61 cents left. All right. So we have to decide how we want to solve this. We can solve it in two ways. We can solve it um, by subtracting or by adding. Um, hmm, what would you like to do? You want to subtract? All right, let's go for it. Draw my arrow. So I'm starting with 94. Okay, and I can jump backwards. Okay, let's see. Minus 10. That would be 84. Then What would that be? 74. I haven't gotten to 61 yet. Okay, take away another 10. So seven 10s for ones, and I take away a 10. Now I have six 10s for ones. Oh, I better not take away another 10, I can't. So now I, I can use Count by ones now, count backwards by one, because I'm getting really close and getting excited. Okay, so 64 minus one, 63 cents, minus one more, 62 cents, and one more goes into the fountain. 61 cents! Yay! Okay, so now we can figure out how much money Imani threw into the fountain. Ready? Let's count. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. Imani threw 33 cents into the fountain. So here's my equation. She started with 94 cents. And we know now she threw, yep, 33 cents into the fountain. And now she has six, whoa, wee, 61 cents. All right. Now I'm ready to answer the questions and complete sentences. So the first part of our story, the first question that was asked was how much money does Imani have? Remember, this is just after she finds the 24 cents. So after Imani finds 24 cents, she has, let's see, she had 70 cents and then she found 24 cents. Yeah, okay, she has 94 cents. And so after Imani throws some of the money into the fountain, she has 61 cents. How much money did Imani throw into the fountain? Well, we know she had 94 cents, and then she 
threw 33 cents and now she has 61 cents. Okay, so she threw 33 cents into the basket. Imani threw 33 cents into the basket. 